Hi, I'm Dave Getz from Magnificent Horses. I live in the desert of Southern Arizona, but as you can see, we have a river that is flowing a lot of water right now. This is the Salt River, and it's home to the Salt River Wild Horses. Well, they're not exactly wild, but we do have horses. Somebody said they're about five minutes further along. Let's see if we can find them. These two horses were beautiful in their own way, but just not the ones we were looking for that day. And there they are. Well, finally, after a really long walk, I came across the wild horses in the river. Unfortunately, it was afternoon and they weren't doing very much right then, so I decided I'd come back the next week when I could get there earlier. And yeah, found a lot more action this way. Aww. Typical horses trying to show their dominance. These couple of stallions kept running back and forth, one of them chasing the other. You can see all the dust they kicked up, and you can hear them still fighting in the background. And then they come down to the water to drink. <laughs> and those things drink a lot of water. I read that horses can drink five to ten gallons a day. That white one in the sun really looks like a ghost. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons as well as the bell icon. That way you can be notified of more great videos coming out in the future. I like how this one wades way out in the water. There were other photographers there even early on a Monday morning. And there's those boys chasing each other around again. Wild Mustang horses run free in many of the western states, and these are actually descendants from way back in the 1500s when the Spanish conquistadors brought them over here. Those horses are some heavy drinkers, as you'll see throughout this video. This one's trying to get a little rest time, but a little bit of a commotion behind him. So I heard something off to my left and I look over and there is this big white stallion coming down to get a drink. He's like 20 yards away. That pretty little mountain in the background is called Red Mountain and it gets really red when the sun is low on the horizon. So he had his fill of water and headed back up into the desert, into the brush. And then to my right, some others came down. They also wanted to get a drink. And I thought this was going to be my last shot, so I started walking back up to go back to the car. And all of a sudden, this happened. And I almost ran into these without even seeing them. This group was all bedded down catching a little snooze and not paying the least bit of attention to me. This one's like, eh, I think I'll get up. Eh, nah, never mind. And then this one gets up and stretches that hind leg out really good. And here we have one uh, nibbling on the other's ear. Not once, but a couple of times, but seem to be fairly friendly. I think they might have been boyfriend and girlfriend. You can tell by the laid back ears on this one, this scene's not going to end well. I love the thud you can hear when that horse kicks him. And then he starts coming straight toward me and I'm kind of running for dear life, backing up into the brush. Sorry for the uh, jiggly camera, but it was kind of a life or death situation. Look at the huge face on that thing. The gold stallion. And then they all just kind of walk single file and they're heading down uh, to the river to get a drink. Pretty little roan one there. Roan being the color, it's like buckskin looks like a couple of them. This is how close they were walking past me. One, two, three, four strides. 
And this is the little band that just walked right past me. Apparently horses are like people in that if one yawns, everybody wants to yawn. Leave a comment if watching this section made you yawn. I know it did me anyway. So after a good long drink, they all just kind of moseyed on back up into the desert where they came from, taking their time. And one last yawn before they head up there. It's a rough life, but somebody's got to do it, right? A little skinny one there. A little full. This one decided to reach up and bite off a leafy branch. And then he starts pawing in the water. He's agitated by another horse. He's going to chase him here in a second. <laughs> kind of funny though. And there he goes. And satisfied, he just lets the horse go now. Goes back to eating. Broke off this big, huge branch. It didn't seem like he was ever going to eat it, but he actually did down that whole thing. A couple of others thought eating those branches looked like a good idea, so they thought they'd try the same thing. There's a lot of paddleboarders and kayakers that go down the river past these horses. You can see the horses are very used to people. And then, for whatever reason, they decided that they would come across the river and come over to the near side. the paddle board and <laughs> that stallion starts pawing at the water he was a little agitated at her too I think it scared the lady <laughs> half to death when they came out of the water they looked really cool just very sleek with the sun glistening off their coats looked really nice Very last one's a little fold. I'm not sure if it's a year old, maybe. Maybe 18 months. Here you can see a couple other photographers. There were yeah, probably about five or six of us down there at the same time. Have you picked out a favorite horse or color yet? Just leave a comment to let us know what color or horse you like the best. Not all of them came across. This one's still back at the far side. Big old stallion going up into the brush. And then this one's biting on the other one's cheek. Not terribly hard, obviously, but uh, I guess you could say they were just kind of horsing around. And that one turns away and the other one goes down and bites him right on the hamstring. Right after that, I started heading back toward the car and was once again confronted by a horse. This was a stallion I had no desire to get in a confrontation with. People have given some of these horses names. Well, I think this one should be named Scarface, or possibly just plain old Scar, since he's got scars all over his body. And again, just a little too close for comfort. Well, after a couple more minutes, they all just walk single file back up into the desert. And that was the end of my day with the Salt River Wild Horses that are found just east of Phoenix. And believe it or not, this is only about a half hour away from my home in Tempe, Arizona. So if you ever get a chance, come on out and see them for yourself. You'll be glad you did.